How's it going, Savage Life family? Back at it again, and here I am to make crypto news very easy and exciting for you, hodlers. So here, Ethereum Classic at $63, smacked up yesterday with a $6 drop here at the $63 price point, and even dropped more lower to the $61 price point levels. So I'm gonna tell you two sides of the story, what could happen now that we cross these key levels, and what's to come. Now, taking a look at Bitcoin, it looks like Bitcoin is green, but it is making a turnaround. Hopefully, it maintains a little bullish today and consolidates instead of dipping lower and lower day by day. That's not what we want to see here at the crypto family. We want to see some consolidation before a nice ride up. Now, on the bright side, the fear and greed index has risen to 73. It means people are still quite greedy regardless of the price fluctuations of of Ethereum Classic and Bitcoin that we are currently seeing. Now, this could indicate that this is just a cool down before the rise. And I say that because a couple key indicators are showing otherwise. So let's go ahead and start with the coin market capitalization. As you can see here, now Ethereum Classic has dropped back down to 20. Sad, sad, sad story. Sad sight to see. Volume has not really changed much since yesterday here at this $3.7 billion dollar market volume so we're sitting at $63 but majority of the volume is quite bearish as we are dropping in price now some key things I want you guys to take a look at is two weeks ago Tether was sitting at a market capitalization of $80 billion and the reserves have dropped $20 billion from Tether. Now what does that mean? People have either deposited those reserves back to their bank account to pay some bills or they put some of those reserves into these cryptocurrencies and this is indicating a slight turnaround for the mid to long term. Now, you could tell that a majority of them reduced the money in Tether Reserves to or into cryptocurrencies because of the rise in the Fear and Greed Index and the rise of the overall market capitalization. Now, we have a market cap of $1.9 trillion. We were at above $2 trillion at a certain point when Bitcoin was at those 47,000 price point levels. So, all we need to do is climb back up there and it only takes a week a couple of days for this to happen for some slight turnarounds to happen in the crypto market world now let's take a look at some technical analysis here of ethereum classic because it seems yesterday we have dipped below our 100 day ema which is a bearish indicator indicating since we broke the support here that i said that we had at the 64 65 dollar price point level it could indicate every visit to this lower support here that we have made at this $57 price point level. This was made on August 12th when we bounced off of it. Now, currently we have an even weaker support at the $61 level. So it's great to know that we are building some walls as time goes on. And these walls are like layers that stack up that have to be broken by bears in order to drive us further and further down. Now, all in all, in the mid to long term, it looks like we're building higher and higher lows. As you got to remember, about a month ago, we were sitting in the 30s and $40 price points, and here we are at the 60s. So all we have to do is maintain and consolidate. You want to see some consolidation, which will indicate a bullish flag until big volume comes in, and we break that pattern. Now, if we take a look at history, the last time, the very last time Ethereum Classic broke under the 100-day EMA on the hourly chart, let's go ahead and take a look. It was here on August 3rd, so let's see what happened on August 3rd. On August 3rd, when it broke below, we saw some consolidation between $48 and $49 price point levels, and then the very next day, we saw a rise of around 7% some consolidations a nice little dip before another takeoff this is what you like to see some cooldowns and consolidation before we take it off that's why i like to say ethereum classic is just simply refueling 
the rocket ship before liftoff. So this could be an indication of what's to come if history does end up repeating itself. If not, we could dive back down to those $57 price point levels and things could turn out bearish depending on the direction Bitcoin decides to take. So let's take a look at some news that came out because this is quite funny and I did want to talk about it. Now it is Michael Burry who was famous for shorting the housing market back in 2008, made a fortune, and he's currently sitting on a net worth roughly above $500 million from that play. Now, he went ahead and said that he's coming out with put options, which is worth $31 million against ARK Innovation ETF, which is owned by Kathy Woods. Now, what does this mean? Put options are a way of profiting from the decline in value of a stock or fund. Pretty much, say Snapchat is at $72. I put a put at $71. I'm betting that Snapchat hits or goes below $71 in terms of price point. And the further it dives below $71, the more profit I make. It sounds simple, but it is definitely a lot more complicated than that as implied volatility plays a major role when buying options. As well, there is something known as theta decay, which means the longer you hold the options, the more and more it eats up on your cash reserves. So Michael Burry is pretty much betting against on innovation in America because in this ETF, we have stocks and companies like Square, we have Shopify, we have Zillow, we have Coinbase, PayPal, we have Bitcoin. And that is what Michael Berry is betting against. He believes all of those are bubbles and it is eventually going to pop and he believes he's going to make a profit. Now, in my eyes, it looks to me like he is simply going to donate $31 million because there is no way massive tech companies are going to burst like a bubble. Now, on top of this, we also have some bullish news, which is the price is down, but yet $13,000 in Bitcoin holdings have went up by a whale. And then you have bearish individuals commenting stating that this data actually means nothing. We are in phase cycles and currently the cycle is going to end with Bitcoin sitting around four to five thousand dollars. Now you guys let me know what you think because I actually think this is quite important information because if the price go down and the whales are buying it up it goes to show that they are gaining confidence and they love to buy these dips while people are fearful these whales are greedy and they're just collecting more and more for the future so exciting to see that's why i just believe this is a cool down regardless of all the bearish sentiment out there that believe bitcoin is going to break underneath forty thousand dollars but at the end of it all time will only tell and you have to go ahead and pick a side now to end it all off we have 21 days until bitcoin becomes legal tender in el salvador well actually now it is the 18th so it's 20 days this is big because el salvador has just been setting up the lightning network the bitcoin atms all across the country and in 20 days it officially becomes legal tender so it is a great step forward in the right direction and they're pretty much using el salvador as a test subject to see what ends up happening when a decentralized store of value becomes a method of payment i believe it's going to be overall great for the cryptocurrency market if you guys believe otherwise let me know down below in the comment sections i'm working on some videos on a litecoin update currently and on crypto must knows in terms of what nodes are validators are miners do stakers do all the crypto slang that you must know i'll try to break it down in the simplest way possible now if you guys enjoyed this video smash that like as it massively helps with the youtube algorithm and subscribe let's hope that ethereum classic stays green for the day and continues to consolidate and build those supports i'll catch you guys on the next one later